If you're using an iOS or Android device and have a manual pack tester, such as a QTEC EasyPack or EasyPack Plus, QPack gives you a great solution for manually recording pack testing data. If you're using a QTEC SmartPat, QPack gives you the option of connecting to the tester and controlling it remotely directly from within the app. This allows you to run custom test sequences and also the results while they're displayed on the tester itself. They're also then displayed in real time on the app. Data is then saved within the app's database. The app also has built-in barcode scanning support, providing you have a reasonably good quality camera on the rear of your device. And you can also use a compatible Bluetooth printer to produce labels which include a barcode or QR code if needed. Cupa app is capable of storing huge amounts of data when compared to most other downloading pack testers. And that data can then be downloaded and imported into the Simply Pat's Manual Plus Edition or the Simply Pat's Full Downloading Edition, which we're using in this example. The only differences between those two versions, apart from the price, is the fact that the full downloading edition here supports the download or import of data from over 50 other pack testers, while the Manual Plus edition specifically concentrates on dealing with data from the Cupa app. Both versions include the same reporting functionality, certification, invoicing, and data management. Because SimplyPats natively supports the import of the database file from the app, this means you get all the data together with any photographs you may have taken of appliances. Also, the app includes the ability to import SimplyPats database files. This is quite important going forward. Say you've purchased a new device and you just installed QPAT for the first time again, you need to get your data back onto the app. If you're running SimplyPats, all you do is you send the app the SimplyPats database files and import them directly back in again. This is also a great solution where you've got multiple people carrying out testing. Just send them the SimplyPats database files, they can import them into the app, select the customer from the drop down menu, and away they go, they can carry on testing. Or if you're working on a day to day basis or weekly basis, you can just send them the jobs for that week or that day. Before we import the data into SimplyPats, we need to export the data from the QPAT app. Okay, so we've got our Cupa app loaded and we're using the iOS version in this example, although it's very, very similar for the Android version. So from the main screen, we're gonna click on the cog at the bottom. This will take us to the settings screen. We're then gonna click on memory options and then backup database. Now, as soon as you do that, you'll be prompted with a message box. This will just tell you that the zip file has been created and the data has been backed up. Click OK. Now we want to click on the Export Database button. In the iOS version, you'll notice that we have a icon at the top of the screen, which is a square with an up arrow in it. That's our share icon. So we're gonna click on the share icon and that will present us with the share panel. We have various options of how to send the data to our computer. We can email it, which is an option that will be absolutely fine for most people. Just be aware that if you are taking photographs of appliances using the Cupa app, you can quickly go over the maximum file size for sending attachments. Modern smartphones include extremely uh, high megapixel cameras, a few images, and you're going to hit that 10 megabyte limit for image attachments. So in this example, we're going to use the iCloud option. And to do that, we're just going to click on the Save to Files option. And now we have access to our iCloud drive. I'm going to click on that. And I've already created a folder on my iCloud drive called Pack Data. And I'm going to select that. And that's now saved the data file within that folder. You'll notice that the file name is Cupa App followed by the date, and there also will be the time at the end. So they're date and time stamped. So back in Simply Pats, we're gonna now import the data. We click on File and Download Pat. This will bring up the import screen. If you're using the full downloading edition of Simply Pats, which I'm using here, you will notice you'll have a lot more options for manufacturers across the top. If you're using the Manual Plus Edition, you will only have the QTEC SmartPat option, so that will come up as default. 
So to import the data, we're going to click on open. We've already got our drive selected here, iCloud and PAT data. We're going to click on the file we exported from the app just a moment ago. Click open. And now we're going to list of all the data that's included within that zip file. We're going to use the RSR systems example file. And you've got two options down here where you can select if you recorded information in the QPAT app, you can basically tell Simply Pats where you want to record that information, such as fail reason or visual notes. We're going to leave those to ignore. So we've got our RSR systems uh, customer selected. And now we're going to click convert. And that will import all of the data for that customer. Okay, so now that we have the data imported into Simply Pats, we're going to save it out as a Simply Pats database file. To do this, we click on File and choose Save As. If you're a contractor, it may be a good idea to create separate folders for each of your customers. It just makes it easier to find data files should you need them in the future. I've already created a folder for RSR Systems Limited. However, if you need to create one, just right click Choose New Folder. Also, if you are a contractor, it may be an idea to get into the habit of including the year at the end of the file name. So if you go back testing each year and you need to find a file from previous years, when you go into the RSR Systems folder in this example, you'll be able to select 2018 or 2017, for example. So we're going to click Save. And that's now saved that as a Simply Pats database file. Because we included the customer's name and contact details into the QPAT app, these are automatically imported in when we import the file. If we need to edit these, we can click on Customers, Customers Details, and you can edit any of the information here. If you're using a downloading pack tester, you may not have the option to include the customer's details when you're carrying out the testing. So if that's the case, you'll need to enter the customer details into this screen and then click OK. Remembering if you do make any changes to a file, if you're uh, spell checking, for instance, or you notice something you need replacing or changing, then we need to remember to file, save, or hit the save icon in the top left. That will then apply the changes you've just made.